Once we have our Ozio gallery all set up the way we want, we can take a peek in the component and Ozio tracks our photo galleries. It'll track the number of views and all the top 10 photos that we have that people are looking at. If I click on photo gallery right here in the component, it actually gives me a preview of my gallery. Now I've noticed this a couple of times while I was preparing this. The gallery sometimes doesn't show up and it could be just a connection issue between my house and Google Plus. I'm not really sure at this point, but I have noticed a couple of quick little bugs like that. Let's change the menu item to the other skin that comes with Ozio Gallery. I'm going to head back over to my main menu and I'm going to change from Forte to Nano. And just double check all of my options. You'll notice with this skin there's a lot more options to work with. It will get Flickr as well, although it's not fully supported yet. So we'll stick with Google+, the user ID, the album ID, and the authorization key. We'll stick with the standard photo sorting and album sorting. Allow the breadcrumb to be displayed. You'll see that there's a lot more options you have over your gallery with this particular skin. Different themes, the thumbnail hover effect, where your toolbars are. Again, a lot more control here. If I click on advanced, Here's where I get to set up my photo info pop-ups and load bootstrap if I need to. I'm going to click save and close and go to my home page and hit refresh on my photo gallery and it's not there again. So this is a bit of an issue with Ozio. Let's see if we can troubleshoot this. I'm going to try and upload the version 4 just to double check that we got the latest version. And if I head back over to my components, my photo gallery is there and it is not working. Well, I know why not. When I updated the skin, it replaced the user ID with the default, not my own. So a little bit of a bug there. Uh, I've confirmed that these are still correct. Let's click Save and just hit Refresh on our photo gallery. And there we go. So with a different skin, you see a different layout. I can now hover over each of the images, click on one. It takes me to a larger version, or I can even go full size. And I can start the slideshow. And clicking on the tags gives me the image information. All of these settings are, of course, in the Options tab on our Ozio Gallery. I'm not sure which skin I like more, but you're able to choose between the two with this free extension.